Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to take extreme photos in extreme high dynamic range and very long shadows. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Ramelli. I'm a French photographer from the amazing, the incredible, the romantic city of Paris, France. But right now, I'm in Los Angeles, and I'm in one of the most iconic places in Los Angeles, Union Station. Union Station, you've seen this in many movies like Gang to Squad, the opening scene takes here at Union Station. And it's a great place because the sun is coming down here and it's gonna light those big windows. We have the sun, you know, shining through the windows and creating really dramatic lighting inside of the station. But the problem is that there's a lot of people, you know, how do you frame it? How do you get rid of the people? How do you make great photos? Well, follow me and let's take some photos in Union Station and then I'm gonna show you some really cool tricks how to make them really pop. So come with me in Los Angeles, California, Union Station. show you the photo in my Lightroom catalog. All right, guys, so here I am in my Lightroom catalog back from Union Station, and I wanted to show you a little bit some, you know, the, the good shots, the bad shots that I got. First, I started off with a, I love, I have a 35 millimeter lens, it's a, it's a prime lens, and I started taking photo with that, but it was, you know, 35 was not large enough, so I wanted to do like a pano, so because they have these big windows, and so I took like four photos, and that's the panel I got into uh, Lightroom, but you can see the top of the windows is missing. So I said, you know what, let's go crazy. I, I put on a much bigger lens. I think I used the uh, 20, 12 24. It's a very wide lens. And I still did a panel, and I was at 20 millimeter instead of 35. And so I took one, two, three photo, and this time I got this, which was much better. Okay, that's the panel on retouch, okay? So that was like one of the candidate photos that could be potentially cool. Uh, I tried different th framing. I just love how the light was like coming through the, the window, you know? You couldn't really see the sun rays and I'm gonna cheat and add the sun rays in Photoshop, but uh, you could almost see them for somehow the, the raw file. I mean, you could see them, I, but I would have to blow like smoke to really see it. That's what they do in movies, you know. They add a lot of smoke because the sun rays were coming through like crazy. So that's another framing. I, I was trying to play around with, you know, just that window and that window. And in the end, I didn't really like it. Also, um, that's another framing that I did. It's a little, a little more frame. But there was a flow of people coming all the time. So I said, you know what, I'm going to take a whole bunch of photos with the same framing and use the technique. You can see the description in this video. Uh, you know, I have a technique when you have a lot of tourists where you take like the same photo over and over and then in Photoshop you do some magic and, and they get erased. But after doing that for a while, I realized that it was uh, not really needed because all of a sudden there was nobody. You know, n nobody came so I could get the shot with no one. So I kind of like that. That was kind of like one of my best photos. And then, um, and then what I did is, uh, I, so I turned this photo into that. And I'm gonna show you how I do that. Uh, so another framing that I even like even more, which I, is the one I'm gonna show you, is this one. Uh, I like that framing because uh, of, of this. You know, we can really see the light coming through and, and that bright light of spotlight there. And then uh, another framing that I tried that I, that I kind of like is, 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 uh, this framing, but at the end of the day, it was too much people. It was too noisy. I uh, didn't didn't like it so much, so I ended up also doing this. Uh, so that's one of, uh, and I think this one will work really good on Instagram. You can see there's like a lot of, I added a lot of dust and all that stuff. So now, how do you do that? Well, I'm going to show it to you on, uh, let me see here. I did a little selection on this one. So that's the raw file on retouch. And what I usually do is I do a bit of retouching first, you know. I mean, look at this. When you open up the shadow, look how much details you're gonna get. But I really wanted to make like a super high dynamic range photo. Uh, uh, I mean, a very contrasty photo. So on this one, I did not bring the shadows too much, to, uh, to completely at 100. And same thing, and the highlights, I made the highlights even bigger. And then I do my black point using the black key, the, um, the black. 
and using the option key. So I really want a strong black point. Uh, and what you see here in yellow and red is, you know, information which is 100% black. And then the white point, I want the white point, I want it to be really overexposed. So that was kind of cool. The whole photo was a little too warm. So I added, I think, a little bit of, uh, of uh, blue. Yeah, just a little bit of blue and a little bit of magenta. I like the color better. But now we have a bit of an issue with the, um, you know, the uh, the distortion. So I'm going to go uh, uh, in uh, lens correction. So sometimes lens correction is not going to do a good job. Look at that. Lens correction sometimes opens up, opens up too much. Well, in this case, it didn't do. I can, under yeah, look at this. It just makes the whole photo too bright. So I'm not going to do the chromatic, uh, the uh, profile correction because I'm I'm going for a specific look. I want a sort of a dark look with, you know, lights coming up. And I'm going to go to the transform and just click on auto. And in any case, I'm going to give you, uh, you know, all these photos and you can retouch them how you want. And you can even post them on social media as long as you credit me as a photographer. My hashtag is at PhotoSurge. So, you know, feel free to use them. You have the link below. I'm giving you the photos. I'm going to give you everything for free so you can play around with it. Okay, so now once I got that, then I, I, I'm going to go to Photoshop. I'm going to show you two techniques. Uh, one that's super easy to use, and that's if you have Luminar. I love Luminar for doing sun rays. It's really the best because it's just so fast and so easy to use. And I'm going to show you another technique if you don't have Luminar. If you don't have Luminar, you can always purchase it. Uh, actually, I have a $10 discount if you go through the link I'm going to put through the video. But I don't want this video to be about you buying something. I want it to you about creating art. So I'm going to show you a free way of doing it. First, let me show you the, uh, the Luminar way. So here I am in Photoshop. I'm going to create a new layer. And then I'm going to go to Filter, Skylum Software, Luminar. Luminar, Luminar, Luminar. So here we are in Luminar, and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to uh, I'm going to clear the workspace. So here I'm just going to clear workspace with nothing there. I'm going to go add filter, and I'm going to go to the famous Sunray filter. I love this filter, and check this out. So here you have an X and Y, and the thing that's amazing about the filter it automatically does the job for you. So you just have to all I'm doing is moving the X so that it's positioned right. And, uh, you know, in the way you want it, you have to try to, m you know, make it match how the light, I mean, the light was very low. And uh, that's kind of cool. I can even, uh, so you can play around with the rest of the slider. I can make it a little stronger, something like this. I really wanted it to be about the sun rays. Uh, you see, I don't like that the sun ray comes here. That's very unnatural, but that we can correct that later. Uh, so let's see here. Look is going to make this stronger or actually want to have like a very strong, uh, look very contrasty look that's the number of rays in this case there is some problems here but we'll correct that later radius the radius uh, in this case doesn't do much that's the radius of the sun there the glow radius I'm not going to touch the glow amount let's see here glow amount that doesn't really matter because it's already blown away there the only one that's going to really matter is penetration on this one, you see, you can go crazy, but I'm going to go something like this. The problem is that we have like some, un, un, uh, this is not natural and this is not natural, but every filter in Luminar has a brush. You can go to brush and add, and you can click on erase. And I'm just going to erase this, this one here. Okay. And I'm going to erase this one here. I only want it to come out from there, but you see the auto mask, it does everything for you, which is kind of cool. Uh, and voila, so I'm going to apply this and it's going to bring it back into Photoshop. And that's the Luminar version. You see, it's like three clicks and you got amazing light rays. And Luminar does so much more things. I mean, Luminar is Lightroom plus a lot more. So it's it's a great solution for people who don't want to pay a subscription to, uh, you know, to Lightroom and they, they want to be able to still you know, do some good road development. Luminar is amazing for that. Plus they are coming out in a few months with a digital asset management, like a whole catalog thing, which I've tested. It's going to be a Lightroom killer. I tell you that. I don't think I'll, I'll drop using Lightroom because I love Lightroom, but uh, I'm probably going to play around with both. So that's the Luminar version. And now I'm just going to duplicate another copy of this, of the original without the sun rays. And I'm going to show you. Uh, so I'm here in my library and I've got a whole bunch of things in my library. One of them is light rays. And I'm actually going to give you a couple of these light rays because I've got a whole light ray professional pack that costs almost nothing. The link is below the video. But again, I want to give you everything for free in this video. So I'm going to go for, for example, this ones. Okay. So the way it works is that 
the good thing about this sun rays is that they have dust in them, which Luminar doesn't have. So here you are. You, all you have to do is put it into screen mode. Screen mode is a mode in Photoshop that turns anything black transparent. Check this out. Are you ready? One, two, three. Boom. And now we got like sun rays and I can just, because I'm in command T mode, the edit mode, I can just position it exactly how I want it, you know, and uh, and make it all about the right position. Now, you can, the, th the problem is that it's less strong than, um, than what I did with uh, Luminar, but that's fine. All you have to do is press command J on your keyboard and boom, you double the exposure. You can even command J again and make it three times. But I think that's a little too much. So command Z to undo. And then I maybe you want to, you know, make a little variation. So I can add this one here. I'm going to give you a couple for free that you can use uh, to make like a little starlight effect there. So I'm going to go there and then put it into screen mode. Boom. Like a little starlight effect. And like, I don't like what, what this does there. So same idea. You can press uh, enter to make it go there and then create a little mask. B for brush. Hold on the control and alt key on your keyboard to make uh, your brush big or small, left to right, and top to bottom, smooth or not smooth. So I want a very smooth, about this size. And I'm just gonna, uh, so black is my foreground color, 100% opacity. I'm on a mask, white reveal, black on seals. So I'm just gonna erase that and erase that. Just wanted some variation in it. And maybe let's add the third one. I have one that's crazy I'm gonna give you that has a lot of dust in it, look at that. This one, I used it a lot for this type of photo. And same thing here, I'm gonna put it into screen mode. Boom, boom, boom. And again, I'm not only giving you for free the raw files, but you also get all this uh, sun effect. You know, all of that. And then you can move it around, make it bigger. It's just, this is kind of cool because this, yeah, this is too strong. The, the dust is too visible on this one. So if you're not happy, you know what? You can just press, the de de you can just delete it. And um, let me see what else, which one I could, maybe this one seems to be kind of cool. This one is kind of cool. Same thing here. I'm going to put it into uh, screen mode, rotate it. I'm just to trying to have a bit of variation in, into it, you know, rotate it. Yeah, too much rotation. It's got to be somehow on the same axis. Yeah, something like that. And again, I don't like what's that it's going. I want it to match the shadows. So remember, I put a mask. I have a black. I have a black uh, thing here. Hold on, is this coming from? If you want to see what this is doing, oh no, it's from an, an early one. I didn't see that going, but this one. Yeah, this one is kind of spinning over too much. So again, I can add a mask on this one. And you can even alt and drag the mask because I did a copy so that it's only there. Okay, so yeah, it's a little more, t you know, it takes more time. Uh, but uh, again, I'm going to give this to you. So I'm going to select all of that, press Command G or Control G to put it into a group. And I'm going to call it uh, Sun Rays. You know, I would spend more time on it, but you get the idea. And so that's with Luminar, pretty cool. And that's with Photoshop, pretty cool. Also, okay, I want to correct the sun rays a little bit more. Uh, so now that I've grouped them into a group, I can go there and, you know, and he rays whatever that is there to make it, you know, because all the sun rays are uh, blended together or not. You can press X and bring it, bring this back maybe a little bit. And let's say I want to make this more yellow. So I can try going to the, uh, I'm going to go to the photo filter. Photo filter, press the option key, go between the photo filter and the sun ray group and click here. So that's only going to influence the sun rays. You can see here, I can make my, uh, I can make this a little more yellow. That yellow is kind of orange. So I can go here and make it a little more yellowish, maybe a little brighter. Voila. So now i got yellow sunrise. So that's, that's the Photoshop version, which I really like. And that's uh, the, the Skylum, you know, sorry, the Luminar Skylum version, which I like a lot too. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep this one. I'm just gonna press save. In any case, I'm giving you the raw files. I'm giving you the sun rays. It's all there. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, what I got, let me show you. So I tried that. That was kind of cool. I tried this one that we did together. And then this is another version of it. 
and I tried this one. All right, guys, don't forget to download the source files. You know, all you have to do is sign up to my newsletter to get that. You can get all the source files, all these photos, all the sun rays. You know, if you want to get Luminar, you can get 10 euros off by clicking the link below. And I will see you in another video. Also, don't forget if you can like this video, that really helps. And if you do not subscribe to my YouTube channel, feel free, just click the little subscribe button, click the little bell so you get a notification every time I do a free video. And you know what? Magically, you're going to get a notification every time I do a free video. And I've done over 400 free videos in the last four years. Okay, see you in another video, mesdames et messieurs. Au revoir.